What is up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. Well, we're kind of hitting a dead end here in West Point, and I don't really have many other places I can look through. I mean, I, there's some, and I could do a little bit of looting, but we're getting a little bit starved for resources out here, and it's mostly steel. I can't. I just need more steel, and I'm just not getting it right now. So, um, I kind of made this a uh, decision then that like either I'm going to be sprucing up and making this into a big huge base, or we're getting out of here. Now, if we're getting out of here, luckily, that's kind of why I want I built this, um, because I, I always feel like West Point, I, I built the wagon mainly because I feel like West Point is kind of that place where you, you do kind of run out of resources pretty fast, because there's not a ton here. Um, so I think I'm going to be grabbing my wagon. Uh, I do think I'm just going to try to make it over, um, I was thinking Maldro. Um, I do have a couple other maps loaded. I do have like New Denver on here. Um, I think I have um, uh, Drayton and things like that and I could probably head over to those areas too. But Maldro seems like a, a good area to start over again and make a good base. Um, I don't know if I have the Walking Dead prison on this uh, save or not. Um, I'd have to look in my mods and I, ha I didn't really take a look. Uh, so what I'm going to do today, I think, I, I just don't think there's any way around it. I was trying to think of like you know I want more supplies so I can do some more crafting so I, I it, when you're when your resources are low in one area it's best just to move to another area um, and I think that's just what we're gonna have to do um, also uh, what I've noticed too is it looks like oh, most of the snow is gone and that's a good thing uh, that means temperatures are getting a little bit better uh, it's probably still pretty cold and we made it through the winter but um, and I was gonna just hunker down here uh, for the whole winter and it looks like I, I you know we did that so uh, I'm gonna decide on which things I want to take with me but um, but I think that's it um, I don't think I'm gonna be staying here uh, most of my big projects I'm gonna take with me at least uh, like the dissection table um, the water pump of course and uh, maybe and a few other things I might even bring the rabbit hutch I don't know because uh, you know that's that's a very a real easy source of food and leveling my cooking and stuff like that and we'll bring the distillery I mean a lot of the projects that we have here we'll be able to bring so um, I guess I can start doing that uh, this is just gonna take both of my hands and I don't have my dog equipped right now anyways so where's my wagon so if we equip both hands okay so we got it equipped now so we got this wagon that can carry almost everything in in our life so a distillery weighs 20 so we just start putting things on here, and, uh, and then we'll go, I guess. A cauldron. Sure, we'll take the cauldron with us. Um, I don't need to bring a workbench. You know, a uh, wooden bucket with concrete. Yeah, we'll take that. That's empty, isn't it? That's an empty bucket of concrete. Eh, great. I don't need that. Uh, so let me just start collecting and then figure out exactly what I want. But we'll I'll, I'll throw some things on here. It's fine. That is fine. I don't like this this spot right here anyways I don't like this spot now guys just not liking it so we'll take the water pump as long as we have enough food to make it over there I don't see any problems and then um, I don't know where we're gonna make a base I'll probably head directly to um, what am I thinking I'll probably head directly to the to the lumber yard McCoy's and then that that will be like our new temporary base for now. I know I've made bases there before, um, but it'll be temporary just to grab all most of the loot. Maybe make it permanent and just make like a really big base out there. I didn't really last time I, I made a base out there. I didn't make it that huge, but there that you know zombies tend to flood in there pretty heavy. Probably have to do a lot of burns. Come on, let me, where's my food at? I know I got a whole bunch of MREs in here. All right, so what I'll do is I'll focus on that for right now. Uh, gathering all the stuff that I'm going to want to take with me. And then I'll bring you guys back once I get it all collected. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, you guys. I got pretty much everything I wanted to take with me. Um, if we take a look at what I got in my wagon, there's quite a bit of things. I'll just go through real, real quick. Uh, a lot of uh, the you know crafting books and things like that. I didn't grab them all, but... A lot of the ones I feel that will be necessary. 
Uh, most of my clays, uh, some food prep stuff, binoculars, just in case I don't find any. My blast furnace, uh, some shotgun shells, uh, my cauldron, carpenter bench, uh, just dissection table, because I don't want to make those things again. Those just take so much metal. Uh, my distillery, drying frame, um, electrical for uh, electrical engineering. I don't know. There might be some changes and stuff done to it, and I don't want to have to look for that book again. But I'll probably go to another library when I get up there, guys. Uh, my farming stuff, a lot of my farming for beginner books and all, all those books. Rabbit Hutch I'm taking with me. Um, I'm taking, trying to take a lot of the lab equipment too because I do eventually want to make a lab. Uh, glass working, you know, all this stuff, we're taking that. Um, some, some weapons, uh, my anvil, uh, a lot of the lighters and the lighting stuff. Magnesium strikers, all that stuff for lighting fires and stuff. I, I find to be very important because you tend to run out of it as you're as you're going through um, smelting a lot of things and uh, crafting things. Uh, some more books. Um, my mildew spray, and I also brought um, monkey wrench, my mine hole, uh, my my dogs. I got to bring all my dogs with me. Um, so some water with me. I bring pots of water with me. Um, Saws and my saw buck, uh, sheet of metal, uh, my sledgehammer, very important to carry that with you. A spade, I should probably bring a trowel now that I think about it. I probably find a trowel there though, so I'm not too worried about that, but I was thinking, you know, I, should, I can always make one too. Some wood glue, some gloves, um, my welding torch with gas. I didn't bring all my welding um, gas tanks because they weigh so much. And I might want to make room for them because, I, you know, you do end up running out of these. I have a little bit of room somewhere. I don't know. I can might probably make some room. Um, but one thing I wanted to do before I left, because, you know, we're here. Um, first off, I have to grab these screws, too. I didn't think about that. Um, is I want to start dismantling all this stuff, you know, because I have all these things to dismantle. And uh, I can increase my level in my electrical level pretty fast, I think, at least. At least do that, you know. I did read the book for it. It's not going to go up super fast, but it's going to do something, right? Okay, we'll just dismantle all this stuff. We'll get a little heavy. We'll have a lot of uh, extra weight on us from it, but um, we'll be all right. Crafted trigger, no. Dynamo, no. <laughs> We're just trying to get uh, all the experience out of this before we leave. We'll dismantle that. And dismantle. I think we can dismantle these. Yep, yeah, all three of those. Just try to get my electrical up a little bit before we leave because, you know, I'm not going to, I don't want to take this stuff with me. Power cord, video games, dismantle video game. So I think that was pretty much most of my electrical stuff that I was going to dismantle. I, I probably should have grabbed a lot more back in the day, but oh well. Okay, put all that stuff away. Um, any of these solar cells could be actually interesting later on I might want to take them with me but um, I'll probably find more calculators I don't know my, I might be taking a risk there if I'm waiting for that so that was that p those pieces um, I do want to make some more room somehow so I, I, maybe there's something uh, like huge that I don't want to take with me that I can make back there I could probably make a smelter pretty easily um, the carpenter bench I can make very easily so I can put that down a clay cauldron is actually pretty easy to make too. Uh, the distillery, that took a little bit of work, so I don't want to do that again. Um, the iron anvil, not going to do again, even though that probably wouldn't be too bad. Maybe the loom and stuff, like, because I'm not even using it much right now. Loom and any other really big items. The saw buck is kind of easy to make. I just didn't want to make another one but I don't need to take it with me. Uh, the smelter, I'll keep the smelter. How about that, we'll, we'll keep it. Water pump, okay, because I want to grab, if I can, a couple, at least like two of these, two or three of these. Yeah, we'll, we'll need some welding gas tanks. Just because, you know, I don't want to end up be there and then go, ah, oh, I wish I had this right now. And we'll grab those solar power um, dealios right over here. Well, I already have them on me, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. There's that. There's that. And the screws. At least, like, three boxes of screws, just in case I need them. 
And I think that's good. I mean, I could get this copper cables and stuff like that, which could be useful, but I think we're ready to go on a long trip then, I guess. Um, I didn't bring my archery target. Oh, well. Um, but I think we're set. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not thinking there's anything else I really want to have with me. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I have in here that I'm leaving behind. Uh, but I did grab, you know, work gloves, at least a set of everything. So, you know, I don't think there's anything that's really speaking to me saying, like, I have to have this. I have a steel smithy hammer, so I don't need the other smithy hammers at the moment. And I think that's it, guys. I think we're ready to go. Maybe grab these other sheets of metal. Just so I, you know, it has, like, some of the crafting stuff that I'm going to need there. All right, so I think we're ready. It's like five o'clock today, so I'm probably gonna stick back here for one more day, um, and then we'll go start making our, our trek all the way to Maldro. Um, I'm probably not gonna include you in on the whole journey because the journey is kind of long, um, but I don't see any problem with us getting there. Uh, once we get there um, to McCoy's is probably gonna be my first stop. Uh, then we'll we'll probably unload there and figure out what we want to do from that point. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Actually, I'll see you guys in the morning right before I take off uh, so if, if I made any changes or anything tonight um, before I leave. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, you guys. It's the morning of the departure. And we're going to say farewell to our base in West Point. So goodbye, base in West Point. Uh, you did well for us did pretty good you know I'm, I'm happy with this base it's just uh just not a lot of uh, resources in West Point and I don't think I'm gonna be sticking I, yeah I can't stick here forever um, got to get closer to more of the bigger cities and everything and if I'm in Maldra you know I'll be closer to some of the other ones uh, other cities like Bedford Falls uh, even though it's way south and everything and, and also like New Denver I think I have those ones loaded um, I haven't taken a look still still haven't taken a look at which ones I have loaded I should do that I'll do that by next episode, but um, but today's episode, we're just going to make our way back. Um, we're just going to make our way to Maldro, uh, and I'll see you guys when I get, uh, I guess, um, maybe if I hit up some, uh, some areas or something that I want to explore or something, I'll see you guys there. So um, anyway, so I'll see you guys in a bit, and we'll probably be directly in Maldro uh, next time I actually bring you guys back, because... Uh, I don't. I don't think there's any reason for me to do anything else. We could check our fire right here. I haven't. I haven't seen this, but we burnt out most of the of zombies and everything. There are some zombies still. There's still quite a bit. Just just because of how many months we are into the game. So um, yeah. I don't even think there's a fire over here. Yeah, there's some some wandering zombies over there. Anyways, it's not going to be a big deal. So I'll see you guys when I get to Maldro, and then we'll start uh, setting up a base there, taking a look at what we find in the crates um, at McCoy's, uh, and then we'll we'll make our base and everything. So I'll see you guys there. Well, you guys, I'm here in Maldro, and uh, I kind of made it another choice. I know Nomis tried a, a base here at the at the farm and everything and so I figured I'd try one myself and everything uh, you know try my luck at the at a good farm base and see if we could survive here for a while it'd be kind of cool place to actually try because I've done the one over at um, McCoy's before so we'll, we'll head over to McCoy's maybe with our wagon um, and then just grab all the supplies there we need but I think this would be kind of nice I think we'll still go there today like with the wagon but I think I'll unload everything here and then we'll call this our home for right now. Um, let me just... I guess I could look around, but I don't really want to. I want to unload everything. So what I'm going to do is uh, just at least put down all of my uh, all of my stuff and everything. Clear out all my inventory. And then we'll take a look at inside the house and everything like that. Because uh, just to make sure there's no uh, zombies in here. Yes, I already hear some. There's some knocking on the doors and stuff. So maybe we'll go up to the barn. Let's see if the barn is clear at least. If the barn's clear, we'll just unload over here by the barn and then clear out all the zombies around here. Yeah, I think this will work. I think we could do this. We can make this into a nice little base. And uh, hopefully we don't get overran. I don't know if I'll go as extensive as Nomis did uh, when he made his and made that wall all the way around. I probably will just stick to this uh, house in the in the chicken coops and stuff like that build a, a nice wall around that and try to defend it from there 
So let me unload some of this stuff, and then I'll be back uh, once I get it all unloaded and everything. And then uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, you guys. I got my um, most of my stuff put away at least. I'm getting really, really tired, so I really want to take care of any zombies we might have in this house. It's, at least in the farmhouse. Let's clear it out. Let's get rid of all these zombies in here. Make sure we're not dealing with too much. Still hearing some pounding in here, so. Yeah, there's a zombie right there. So let's kill out all the zombies and maybe get some sleep in here. There's another one right there. Alright, just gotta check through all this place. Make sure, uh. <laughs> Make sure that there's no zombies that are going to creep up on us while we sleep. Because so i got to get some sleep tonight. I think that's it. I'm not hearing anything else. I'll probably uh, go upstairs to sleep. Okay. Yeah, it's looking kind of safe. Ooh, there's some open doors, though. That kind of scares me. Okay. Almost finished clearing. My guy's really, to really tired. I'm not looking for any loot at this moment, and we'll we'll, we'll find all the loot here anyway, so I'm not worried about it. All right, let's get some sleep, and then we'll check out this whole place in the morning. Or actually, it's gonna be almost day. It'll be like later in the day because of the long trek. Oh my god, it's already night again. <laughs> That's funny. Oh man. All right, let's eat some food then. It's a long day. It was a long trek to get all the way over here. I do want to check out McCoy's, and maybe I will do that. I guess we could start looking for loot. Let's see what we got here. Earbuds, nah. And some dismantling stuff. Um, why? That's so weird. What's a weird room? Okay. And candle. That would be good. Nice. That'd be nice to have. Make some more wood glue with that. And a few things, gauze, things like that. A razor blade, cool. Yeah. Let's see what else we got in our new house. Uh, pretty good amount of, uh, of items to start with. Some things to work with, which would be nice. What do we got in the kitchen? Anything really great? Got a light bulb, some other things, another hammer. Okay. Kitchen knife. Yeah, this place is pretty set. Some boxes here with a medium battery, uh, lighter saw, tarps, empty IBC. Okay. Thread. Not too much, but, you know, some items, some new stuff. I'll have to situate my house, you know, uh, how I'm going to want it. I don't know exactly how I'm going to want this yet, but definitely, uh, We'll probably use the farm as farm. You know, the, all the farming would be done over there. Let's see what we have in the sheds here. We have uh, just some little bit of stuff here, not too much. Some glue, measuring tapes, nails, some steel wire. Ah, oh, that's nice. I would like to have that. That's for my um, giggly saw. I know I need to make. Okay, masking tape, wheelbarrow. I can smelt down a wheelbarrow. For steel that's nice okay yeah pretty empty with zombies though too not many zombies out here that's nice all the doors are open too here's a nice little uh, area for our chicken coop and we'll put that down there but yeah that looks pretty good um so what I'll have to do is do a lot of arrangements over here but what I want to do first I mean I'm gonna leave all this stuff out here because uh, the zombies won't mess with that, I don't think. And I'm just going to go head over to McCoy's with the wagon, actually. And we'll go pick up... Um, yeah, with both hands. We'll go pick up some um, other things. Why? Wow, I can't equip it? Oh, okay, well, I'll probably have to move some stuff around. So here, give me a minute, and then we'll make our ways over to uh, McCoy's. And then... And then we'll go loot McCoy's up real quick. Actually, I should probably stay here for a night and then get some sleep. I don't think there's anything else I really want to take a look at. Well, you know what? You, we'll do that next episode. 
uh, go over to McCoy's. I can go check out uh, the other area back here. There's some uh, barn stuff over here. I forgot about that. I know it's... Oh, I just heard a zombie. I know I did. Oh, is that me? That might have been me. Yeah, that's just me going through the, through the woods, right? Yeah. Okay, there's a little bit of stuff over here. Not too much, but... I know there's like a, another storage shed or something right down here. Yeah. Oh, there's another house. Oh no, it's a barn. That's right. That's right. Let's take a look in here. See if there's anything good in here. And then we'll probably just stay here for the night. I mean, not here, but I mean, at the farmhouse. And then we'll head over to McCoy's the next day. Um, baseball bat. Nah, nothing really great there. Plus, I have to arrange my whole farm base anyways and figure out how I kind of want it right now. I really don't know exactly how I want it. And then we'll take a look at this, like, uh, cabin that they have out here. Okay. Hard hat. Uh, rubber cement. That's kind of worthless, most of that stuff. A little kitchen. And in here, a uh, whisk. Sure, why not? Oh, you know, I never emptied this pack. I forgot about that. Oh, well. Uh, spoons and things like that. We'll smelt them down eventually. Salt. We'll bring it all back over to the house. Why not? Uh, bleaches and stuff like that. I could probably just grab later if I need it. Alright. That looks pretty good. So we checked it all. We checked out our new area that we're going to mess with. And then I have to think about how I want to set it all up. I don't know, because, uh, you know, we'll have the farm there. Yeah, I'll have to see. I'm not going to make a big, huge wall around the whole complex. I actually think that actually attracts more zombies than anything. Because, you know, zombies that would normally just walk by get attracted, you know, they get stuck on the walls. So if I'm going to make a wall, I'm probably just going to make it around this area. You know, like from here to here. A nice little small wall. Um, maybe enclose the fence area and probably build upwards right here and then attach this house with the with the shed and stuff i i, I don't know i have to see about how big i want to actually make this place it'd be kind of interesting yeah so um i got a lot of work to do um and arranging all of my items again and I'll, I'll go ahead and get on that and then once we once i finish all that uh we'll next episode i think we'll just go ahead and head over to mccoy's and pick us up a whole bunch of steel and uh, other good items that we might want. So I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you guys want to see further. Take it easy, guys. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.